Okay, so I'm gonna talk really fast about this and instead of making a bunch of videos, I'm gonna to try to make this really quick. Okay, so basically, this is the setup for the Google Cloud Platform. He gives us two files. Essentially, he actually just only gives us one file first. He says, oh, this is for the web app info, etc." So he gives us two sources here, one, and if you look hard enough, you'll find the other one. So what I did, instead of uh, showing you how to combine those two into one that you can use or etc. I made a Git repository that I'll link down below along with those ones um, that will give you everything you need. Uh, it'll make sense as we go on. Um, so uh, in the beginning for the Google setup, uh, you will be prompted something. If you go to uh, console.cloud.google.com, you'll be probably prompted with something like uh, try for free or etc. When you do sign up, you're going to have to enter in some card information, but don't worry, it's free and it won't charge you after the trial. So, uh, and uh, they'll stop and then we have technology for that. So don't worry about that. Just put it in, do what it says, and then it'll work out. All right. So moving on to this. So imagine that in a world that you already started working on it. Okay. Um, once you sign up for the free trial, what you're going to do is you're going to need to make a new project over here. I'll probably say make a new project or in the dashboard, it'll say make a new project. What you want to do is click on the new project. I'm just going to do the UCSC organization just for the kicks, but um, just keep all organized, but you can do whichever you want. Um, from there, um, you just ideally just click the plus button. Once you click the plus button, you give the project name. We're going to call it um, something uh, uh, test. Uh, backend, uh, test backend, right? Um, let's go with that test backend. We're going to create that. Once we create that, we're just going to wait a little bit. So it's going to wait a little bit and then it's going to pop up in a little bit. Once it does pop up in a little bit, I want you to know that, uh, we're, that's about it. Okay. So three, come on, two, come on, come on, come on, come on. And excellent. So, here it is. What we will do next now is in the top left drop down. Okay, I want you to go to um, development. If you go to development, you'll notice that, uh, well, or we don't have any source code, right? So what you need to do is create a repository. Give it a repository name back and let's call it back and homework three, all right? Let's call it that. Back on homework three, press create, right? And from here, you need you have three options. But then this one says push code from a local Git repository to your cloud repository. That means that you have the local Git repository on your computer. And then this one says clone your cloud repository to a, Glit, a local Git repository. And then the last one is automatically mirror from GitHub, and etc. So what we need to do is since we're automatically mirrored from GitHub, this is genius because if you have a project with group partners or later on in the future, you need to do something, it will sync up the way you want it to. So I'm going to teach you this way because it's going to be modular and it's going to be efficient for later on. And also it's a long-term uh, useful. So if you, uh, we're going to switch gears to GitHub really quick. So we're going to stay on this page really quick. I'm going to switch to github.com. From github.com, if you don't know what it is already in this field, I really hope you should do. Um, if not, Go sign up with your UCSC email, and that way everything just syncs up really nicely. Uh, if you want to, I can make a separate video for that. But ideally, you go to GitHub. Uh, if it works, GitHub, come on. Uh, you go to GitHub, you make a new repository. Or you, you can, I, I'll show you this way, but there's also a way of doing it through just your, uh, um, what's it called? Command line. But... If you go to GitHub, there you go, boom. Go to GitHub, uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make a new repository, okay? And then I'm gonna call this, um, uh, backend git, backend git homework three. Backend homework three git, all right? I'm going to call that right now. You can make it public because it doesn't matter too much because it's code um, that's, uh, that's, that I didn't code. So you're not copying. It's actually code from uh, the two sources that the professor provided us, one his and one from somebody else. Okay, so I'll go ahead and make it public for now so that way we can avoid uh, authentication errors and problems. All right. So once you do that, you can cre create the repository. All right, once you do create the repository, uh, it will give you a link. All right. 
with that link, what you're going to do is go find your terminal or console, all right? Uh, right now, if you press LS, that stands for list, it will show you everything in that side there. So what you want to do is change directory, change directory to desktop for me. And the desktop, I'll just work from the desktop there. Um, I'll say git. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab this link here. That's your git repository link. I'm going to say git clone. Boom. That will get... It will clone the repository to the front. If you see to the right hand side here, it just did that. So this is back end homework three git. It's empty. That's why I did it so quickly. So that's great. What we're gonna do again now, all right, is clone my repository. So that way you can just drag all the components into that. So I'm gonna clone mine, all right, and I'll give you the link down below. It's the same situation though. So ls. So if you say git clone and then my uh, information. It will clone that thing too, but I already did that. So it's over here. Boom. And then this one's empty. This one's not empty. All right. So what you want to do here, right, is take everything, shift, shift, command, enter. There we go. So click everything except git, dot git, and drag it into where you want it to go. All right. So this is the file we want, right? This is our rep repo repository. Right. Once you have that there, um, you can say uh, you can say git add dot. That adds it all to your repository or ls. Actually, what you want to do right now, if you uh, you notice how I click ls, that means to list. I need to switch to my repository. Say change directory to uh, backend homework three. How I made that quickly is pressing tab that completes whatever of the options that is. Uh, it just autofills. Press tab. All right. So once you do that, you're in the repository. You click ls again. You can see all the components inside there. Great. So it worked out. So you say git add dot. That adds it in. You say git commit dash a dash m. Okay. And then message uh, adding backend files. Okay. And then that will make it so it adds, it doesn't give you errors and it gives you a message of what's going on and, and it creates all of them. Genius. So look at that. All of it's in there. So the last thing we need is git push. Git get push all right get push pushes it all the way up to the repository so it's on the internet all right and it should work and ls oh it's in the process um so i'm gonna say it worked okay there it is done that's that's what you should get all right excellent it's all finished okay so from there uh we're gonna be switching uh gears over to um, just the GitHub here. If you notice, the Git was empty before, and now it's not. Boom, look at that magic, all right? So now I added all those things, adding in whatever files, okay? So from there, what we're gonna do now is go uh, back to Google Cloud Source, right? If you, uh, if you look at the repositories here, right? It's still, it's still, it's still empty, right? So you're gonna click automatically mirror. You're gonna click, GitHub, right? Because now you have that GitHub repository you're gonna work with, all right? Go back to your GitHub, right? Go back to your repository, get the link for your repository, right? And once you get your link for the repository, what you're gonna do, boom, right here. Uh, what you're gonna do is, oh, come on now. Oh, actually, you don't need to grab the, repository link. Um, if you have everything synced up to UCSC, it should show that you're already authenticated on the account. If so, uh, you should be able to click from them, all right? So it was the Git one, backend Git, all right? I can send it, I connect it, it connects, right? And from here, what we have now, right, is that, uh, da -da -da. Just wait for it, redirect it when the operation is complete. So once it all switches over and does everything, it will be great. So from here, uh, I've run out of time for this one, and we will continue from here on how to set up the rest of the Google Cloud and then also uh, launch the server. That one should be relatively quick, and then I'll test some things on that too.